Number 26, the O18 to O16 abundance ratio in some meteorites is greater than that used to calculate the average atomic mass of oxygen on Earth. Is the average mass of an oxygen atom in these meteorites greater than, less than, or equal to that of a terrestrial oxygen atom? Okay. All right. So uh, the first sentence was telling us that this O18 to O16 abundance ratio, abundance is just referring to their percentages. All right. Or just basically how much of each oxygen is present in, in this case, the meteorites, right? So they're saying that we have an O18, I like to write it this way, to O16. So this means that basically the mass for this oxygen atom would be roughly 18 AMU, and this mass for this one would be roughly 16 AMU, just going by 18 versus 16. Okay. So they're saying that it's greater than the average atomic mass of oxygen on Earth. So just know that oxygen on Earth, Earth means terrestrial. So Earth just means terrestrial. Okay. So they're saying that this ratio that I just written down here is greater than the ones that are found on Earth, which means that this has to be a much higher number. Which means, so let's just say that this would be, you know, um, this would be the meteorite. So let me just write that meteorite. And then let's just say that this one, O18 to O16, this would be terrestrial, a.k.a. Earth. Okay. So they're saying that for the meteorite, this ratio is greater than, which means, literally, it should be a greater number. So pick anything. It does not matter. Let's just say that this is, I don't know, 4 over 1, right? 4 over 1 is 4, right? The, the ratio. So that just means that the oxygen, O18, is 4 times the amount more prevalent than the oxygen 16 for one time. Now here, for the O18 and the O16, for terrestrial, for the Earth, it's much less. So let's just flip it, right? Instead of saying 4 over 1, let's just say 1 over 4. And this would tell me that I have 4 times the amount of oxygen, 16, as opposed to oxygen, 18, which has just the 1 right next to it. Okay. Now, they're saying, is the average mass of an oxygen atom in the meteorite greater than, less than, or equal to a terrestrial oxygen atom? So, meaning on the Earth. Well, it's got to be greater than. Why is that? Because they're saying that majority of the oxygen here is oxygen 18, because it's much higher, the ratio is much higher. But in terrestrial, but on the Earth, the oxygen 16 is much more prevalent, right? Because the 4 corresponds to the 16, and in the meteorite, the 4 corresponds to the 18. So, would the average mass of oxygen atom in the meteorite be greater than, less than, or equal to? If you have majority, if you have majority of oxygen 18, the mass would be closer to 18, if you have majority of 16, the overall mass would be basically 16. And this is greater than, you know, 16. 18 is greater than 16. And if we look on the periodic table, oxygen 16, this is telling us that in nature, on the Earth, terrestrial oxygen atom, it is roughly 16 AMU. So that means that the majority of oxygen would be coming from oxygen 16. But if we see in the meteorite, the majority is coming from oxygen 18 because literally it's a 4 to 1 ratio. It just had to be a higher number. So that's why the average mass for an oxygen atom would be greater than, and for the meteorites would be greater than the ones in the terrestrial oxygen atom because there would be more oxygen 18 in the meteorite as opposed to on Earth and in the terrestrial oxygen atom.
All right. So I hope that helped. This one was an easy peasy kind of theoretical question. Um, if this helped, click that like button and tell us in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'll see you guys all in number 27. Bye-bye.